Good morning, Titans. Today is Friday, May 27th. You're here with your host, Riley. Please stand for the national anthem. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm going to kind of continue on the thought that I've been continuing on for the last little while. The idea is that um, like our thoughts can direct our life. You know, so if we find ourselves focusing a lot on, uh, on worry, you know, then our, our, our thoughts will be geared towards being worried all the time. But if we focus our thoughts on peace, they can be focused on peace. Um, but the reality is there are more than just, there's more than just worry and peace that can kind of conflict in our hearts. Um, sometimes we can focus a little bit more on the negative side of things versus the positive side of things. You know, times are tough, it's going to be hard, things are bad, you know, like that, just focusing, going down that rabbit hole of negativity. And yesterday we kind of talked about making that, that path, you know, if we walk down that one path in our lives, or in this one patch of grass, it'll sort of get worn down, and that'll be the easiest way for us to think. You know, so if we find ourselves negatively geared in our mind, we need to sort of form a new path, right, and sort of focus on the positive things. You know, the fact that Christ is with us, you know, and he will work through all things according to um, to his purpose, right? And so we can find our hope in that, right? And, and instead of dwelling on the negative all the time, trying to finding the positive, even in suffering, even in difficult times. So with that in mind, let's just offer up, uh, just offer up our day. You know, maybe if we've already kind of thought some negative things this morning, let's, let's put those things aside and maybe think about one positive thing uh, that we can focus on for the day. So if you can join me in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. God, we thank you so much for all the incredible things that you do in our lives, even if uh, we have a hard time seeing it on a regular basis. God, open up our hearts to see the ways that you challenge us, to see the ways that you um, desire for us to experience just the positive things that are going on around us. God, maybe if we ignore the news and all the news of the world just for one moment, just focus on something that's brought a smile to our face over the last little while, and hold on to that. And recognize that that was a gift from you. Got to open up our, our, our minds and our eyes to seeing those ways that you challenge us to smile every day. As we pray the prayer that you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All senior boys rugby players, please give Mr. Miller your ASA forms ASAP. From the calf, we have breakfast sandwiches and wraps, pancakes and sausage, and bagels. For lunch, there's pizza. Choose two cheeseburger deals, tortellini with meatballs, buffalo chicken poutine, and ice cream sandwiches. Hello, Titans. Today's Feel Good, today's feel good Friday is going to take for the form of positive affirmations. Affirmations motivate you and help you create a positive thinking pattern, which can change your outlook on the day. Today's affirmations. I am strong and determined. I choose my attitude. I am capable. I can get through anything. 
I am worthy of good things. If you'd like to make a positive impact on your school community, consider joining Jack Chapter. See Ms. Slatt in room 166 for more information. That's all from me, now over to Ms. Slatt. Good morning, Titans. I am here today to talk to you about the Laurier Stedman Prize, which took place last night virtually. I wanted to start out by thanking all of the Titan writing community. We had over 10 entries this year, which is the most that we've had in the entire time that I've worked with the contest. I then wanted to do a huge shout out to Vince Tongle, Sydney Welsh, Alicia Butler, and Maya Baxter, who represented our school so amazingly last night. Furthermore, I want to congratulate Maya and Alicia on their top 10 finish. We were one of a few schools to have two entrants place, and I am so proud of how well you've done. Thanks, Titans, and have a great day. Good morning, Holy Trinity seniors. Tomorrow is the day already. Prom. I hope everyone is ex as excited as I am. I'm on, I am here on announcements this morning because there happens to be a poster floating around our hallway and senior homerooms, which has a QR code to scan. If you choose to scan said code, you can request music for our event tomorrow. All submissions must be done by the end of today, so the end of our school day, so you can send all of your answers over to the DJ for tomorrow. I hope everyone is ready for tomorrow, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask any of our prom committee members. That's all from me, Titans. Now over to Mr. Nicholson. Thank you very much, Sylvia. I just have a few additional comments in regards to prom. I know that everyone is looking forward to it, uh, but I did want to outline some of the expectations for prom uh, because we want to make sure that this is an enjoyable event for everyone. Um, as stated in the signed prom contracts, doors open from 5 to 5.45. Uh, no one will be uh, allowed to enter after this time, so please make sure that you're on time and you're able to enter the doors uh, during that time. Uh, once you leave prom, you're not permitted back in. Uh, so once you're in, you are in. Uh, with, there will be an exception of there will be one supervised break after dinner to get some air. Uh, the event is over at 10 o'clock. This is just uh, a clarification that there will be police presence um, at the door when students first come in, just like any of our dances that we have, um, and we will be uh, checking uh, for any uh, inappropriate materials and checking for uh, if anyone is under the influence of alcohol uh, or, or illicit substances. Uh, and just a reminder that there is no f outside food or drink to be brought in to prom. Um, the hall that we're using uh, is strictly prohibits smoking or vaping of any kind in the hall, okay? So any student that is found doing that will be removed from the, uh, from the event. Um, if a student is denied entry or removed from the venue for any reason, a refund will not be granted. Um, now, this is an important thing about guests. If you are bringing a guest, you are responsible for them, and if your guest is removed from the prom, you, as the HT student responsible for them, will also uh, be asked to leave. Uh, the guest uh, must also be the registered guest that is on the contract that you signed. No exceptions there. Uh, the prom committee has worked very hard to ensure that you have a beautiful prom and to celebrate your senior class. And we have these expectations in place so that everyone can enjoy this evening and have a safe night. I have one or two other um, short announcements as well. Um, one is uh, client day for hairstyling and aesthetics has been canceled for today. And the last is um, a number of students have been using the late bus over the last number of weeks. I just want to remind students to make sure that when they are signing up for the late cab, late bus, that I need them to put their full name, first and last name, on the sign-up sheet. 
and it's important that they actually show up for the cab. We've had a number of cabs that have shown up and the students have not been around for the cab to collect them at the end. And we end up being on uh, uh, getting charged for those cabs coming. So please, if you uh, have made other arrangements after you've signed up, please let us know at the office so we can make arrangements for that. If you are uh, taking the cab home, please check the time that is on, posted on the door at the end of the day and it will indicate the time that your cab is leaving. Thank you very much, Titans, and have a great weekend. Hey, Titans, Landon here. Summer is in the air, which means it's time for sunshine, sweet tunes, and cold drinks. And speaking of cold drinks, you guessed it, Holy Trinity is putting on a Lemonade House, a summer spin on our coffee house event. But Landon, what is Lemonade House, I hear you ask? Well, Lemonade House is a talent show, which will be held on Thursday, June 2nd, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. after school. We all like lemonade, which of course will be served there. But more importantly, a lot of us have unique talents, which is what Lemonade House is all about. So if you're interested, then please consider auditioning. If you're at all interested in showing off your talents, then you better get ready. Auditions are coming up fast. Wednesday, May 25th, Thursday, May 26th, and Friday, May 27th, auditions will be held in the lower cafeteria after school. And if you would like a specific time slot, then please be sure to sign up on the Student Council Board in the main hallway near Guidance. Lemonade House, of course, is a talent show, which means any talent, singing, dancing, instrument playing, or whatever other talent you may have up your sleeve is applicable. So, if you have a talent you want to show off, please be sure to audition. And if you can't audition at any of those times, no worries, we got you covered. Just message our Instagram, at Holy Trinity Council. And if you can't get a hold of us there, then don't worry, because you still got options. Should you not be able to contact us on Instagram, then don't be afraid to email one of our presidents, either Rochelle or Summer, via the emails you see on screen. If you at all have any talents you are interested in showing off, then please consider auditioning. If not, then come to the show, sit down, relax, enjoy some lemonade, and of course, all the talents. That's it from me, Titans. Good luck to all those who audition, and I hope to see you there.